We next turn our attention back to the featherweight ranks and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. He has already racked up glory wins in Miami, Houston, Orlando, and New York. He tries for Chicago next. Here comes Abraham Vidalis. But when he's in this ring, something switches and he becomes a beast. He's studying to be a dentist in Mexico. But right now, he'll chomp down on that mouthpiece to see what he can get out of Sergei Adamchuk. He is a contender tournament champion who last fought in Orlando at Glory 67. Here is Sam. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your headline super fight of the evening. Three rounds in the featherweight division between a seasoned former champion and a young Mexican upstart ready to test his talents at the highest level and put his unblemished record on the line. This bout sanctioned by the Illinois State Athletic Commission and at the bell, your referee is Oscar Martinez. From the Windy City to Mexico City, Glory fans are watching in over 180 countries around the world. It's time for Glory! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a 2017 ISKA Mexican champion, undefeated as an amateur and a pro. His professional record perfect, 15 fights, 15 wins, 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet 11 and one half inches, 1.82 meters, he went into fight time at an even 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Monterrey, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Abraham Vidalis. Oh. 
Here now is his opponent, fighting out of the white corner. He went on a five fight win streak following his debut in Lil France in Glory 22. As a professional, 38 wins with 11 losses, 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. And five feet eight and one half inches, 1.74 meters. He weighed in at 140 pounds, 63.5 kilograms. He's here in Chicago tonight, fighting out of Amsterdam, and is the former featherweight champion of the world. He is Sergei Adamchuk. Once again, your referee in charge of this bout is Oscar Martinez. Come on over. Gentlemen, you've had your final instructions. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Touch them up, gentlemen. Back to your corners. Is it too Judge. much, too soon Judge. for the 25-year-old, or is this his destiny? Wait, ready. Oh. Fight. A win over the number two ranked featherweight in the world would change his life. Three rounds in the featherweight division. Dallas that likes to be the pressure fighter. You see Adam Chuck coming forward, trying to test Vidalis out early. Is that what you do when you're an experienced fighter and finding a young guy, you go right after him, see what he's got? A lot of guys like to do that. I mean, really test him early. A left kick to the liver for Adam Chuck. Dallas always countering back. Already a some red swelling under the left eye of Vidalis. Already you can see Adam Chuck with that southpaw style stepping outside the lead leg of Vidalis. Keep circling, mixing in angles. Fight your way out, fight your way out. Stop! Adam Chuck always Lean in break. superb condition. He looks just fight. as good in the third round as he does in the first. And we got two smart guys in there as well, Joe. Vidalis. Just short of becoming a Watch doctor, Adam Chuck already right. has a law degree. Sport requires a good intelligence to be good. I've met a few football players that doesn't apply to. And that's why they're playing football and not kickboxing. <laughs> it's a game of human chess. Watch those knees. Watch those knees. Amazingly, Adam Chuck has 16 Fight. fights in glory. He's 10 and 6. He has never won by knockout and has never been knocked out. And yeah, he's also fought, you know, the top of the division. Quite sometimes he's fought. Fight. You know, Pech Panmarong twice, Anvar Boynazarov, Van Roos Marlin. You know, former champion himself. Fight out. What was your best first Fight. big, big test Green as break. a pro? Well, I mean, I think my debut was my right. big test. I mean, I had eight professional fights against someone with 80. <laughs> you did pretty good, didn't you? Yeah, not bad. Stop! Clean break. Watch the dirty boxing, you understand? Ready? Fight! And for those who didn't know, Joseph Altolini had a pretty big fight right here in Chicago. Yeah, Glory 11. I fought uh, Kareem Gaji. It was my third Glory fight. And uh, it was my, I think, 10th professional, where Gaji's 100th. But this is what I saw in Vidalis, a lot right of out. myself. That's why right I'm out. giving him a lot of, Stop. you know, chances on, here fight in out. this fight. Fight! Time! Time! Whoa, that was right after the bell. Watch the blow at the end of the bell. Very uncharacteristic for Sir Hanachuk. Yeah, it probably didn't for some reason, it was mid-combination, but that's not in his character. Breathe. You okay? Sir, hey, Adam Chuck, he's making his 15th appearance in Glory's featherweight division. That's the most all time. Yeah. His opponent from Mexico, Abraham Vidalis. Signature striker, oh, see that yeah, right oh, middle kick. He's going to have to use yeah. that against the southpaw in Adam Chuck. I mean, he did have a, a pretty good start to that first round. He felt the power, mixed his strikes well. 
We're going to have to see what he can, you know, adjust second for that second. Time. Let's show you the end of the round again. All right, clean. Let's go. Back. Let's go. Seconds out. Now peace. Now peace. Back. Back fighter. Back fighter. Fight! So here we go. Round two. Scheduled for three. All three judges giving round one to Sergei Adamchuk. Yeah, he's dictating the pace really fight well. Fight out, fight out, fight out. The range of the fight. Stop! It's so hard, even if you win, to look fight. good against Adamchuk. He just has something about him that he just smothers everything you do. Good defense, you know, he pressures well, good distance control, uses his angles. That's what Fidalis needs to do. He needs to just keep throwing combinations. Try to be busy. Something's, you know, will land eventually. He's just got to keep coming after Adam Chuck. Double knees to the body there for the young Mexican. And it's incredible that Fidalis fights out of Monterey, Mexico, Joe. It's, kickboxing is a, a fledgling sport in that country, and yet here he is at the top of the division right now. Yeah, there's a lot of Mexican boxers, so it's well, impressive to see, you know, Vidalis uses his kicks really well. Fight out! Let's go! Fight out! Stop! Come on, fellas. Fight out of that. Fight! The Dallas, the ISKA Mexico welterweight champion. Oh, Dad, what are you waiting back for? In 2017. Come on. Yes. Go with the left. Get the smash to the face. Come on, keep on, Gabe. Come on. Big Mike passing air there in the corner. The trainer for Sir Hey Adam Chuck. He also trains Bader Hart. Stop. Yeah. Stop, lean break. Right now, the most success right, from Adam seconds, Chuck is the combination. Go, and then when he finishes to the low kick to the back leg. Come on. Dallas is starting to read that. Started to block there. And Adam Chuck is probably going to mix his punches and then follow with that rear low kick. Good low kick there for the Dallas. Chuck with the low kick, set up the high kick, level changing. Well, we know he's got a chin now. Good body work from Fidalis with his punch and kick. Fight out, let's go, fight out! Stop! Clean break. Fight! Nice level change from Adam Chuck as well. Back to that rear low kick. Oh, nice one, two from Adam Chuck. Time! But not enough sometimes, you know? You have to keep, I know it's on the phone, but you have to. Be sure to visit Glory's Facebook page and stay up to date on the latest Glory news, social media features, promotions, and much more. Really saw Adam Chuck do well with that rear low kick, and there he went, changed the angle, went back upstairs. Beautifully timed. Just as the Dallas was throwing his lead hand, Adam Chuck found that head kick. All set up really well with those rear low kicks. You don't want him to take this fight away from you. You gotta win this round. Skin the for favor. Ready! Fight! Round three. Let's see what the judges score the second round. Because Vidalis might need a knockdown here. Two giving to Adam Chuck, one to Vidalis. Whoa. And that will be the case. And Adam Chuck very Fight. rarely goes down. I believe he's been down just once in his entire glory career. That's 17 fights, including this one. Adam Chuck is calling him on now, wanting Break. to get Break. the punches flying. Big Pick up Mike the knees. in the corner wanted him to, to be a little bit more active. Good. Ready to go? Fight! Slip, watch the holding. 
Fight! Time! Time! Stop! Stop! Neutral corner. Neutral corner. Come here. Grabbing around the waist is illegal. Do you understand? Look at me. Grabbing around the waist is illegal. Final warning. Do you understand? Here we go. Ready? Fight! Back to that head kick from Adam Chuck. Good combination from Vidalis. Put your hands up. Walk to me. Walk to me. Stand right here. Wow. And that is hey, it. The referee waits on the floor. Somebody else. Somebody, somebody else. else. Chuck gets his first somebody knockout else. in glory. Yeah, he just really caught the line. He found the success in his boxing. Second. And in that third round, That's he really wanted to get in, be active. And yeah, he was really yeah. looking for that finish. Yeah. Now you are. So Vidalis, unbeaten no more. It was too much too soon. Yeah, I mean, it oh, kind of sucks to see it, but I mean, I'm sure he's going to learn a lot from this. He'll get back, get stronger, and he'll be back at the top anytime soon. The referee gave him a good look after he stood up and decided he just didn't see it out. I mean, you got to really show the referees that you want to fight. You can see that that was really trying to clinch here, trying to go, but Adam Chuck did a good job at breaking off the clinch, hey, mixing in the power punches, yes, and found that left overhand. Yeah. That's you understand what I'm here? But Dallas to the canvas. You see touch, touch from Adam Chuck. Blocked those knees, slipped his head off, found the punches, rocked for Dallas, and then just got aggressive with those boxing punches, mixing in those hooks and overhands. Solid finish at the end there for Adam Chuck. In I feel that Vidalis could have kept going, but I mean, he's still young in his career. He didn't probably need to take any more damage. He was losing the fight anyway, so I don't really mind the stoppage for the longevity of uh, Vidalis' career. Well, kudos to Adam Chuck. He needed to make a statement. You know, he'd gotten the tag that, yeah, he's great technically, but he just doesn't have that killer instinct. He can't put guys away. And he did it tonight. And he looked good with it. And then he mixed his strikes. We saw him kick a little bit more than usual. And then he mixed his punches in really well. So kudos to Vidalis for taking this challenge. But all praise to Sergei Adamchuk. We'll hear from him when we return. Yeah. June of 2015, over four years, Joe. Yeah, and like I said before, a lot of experienced opponents. The higher you get in the division, the harder it is to knock your opponents out. And as we kept talking about, Adam Chuck's been at the top of the division almost since he started with Glory. Let's show you the highlights from this one. An entertaining bout for sure. Yeah, we saw good moments of Vidalis mixing in his good combinations, trying to use his kick Time! fighting fight. Time! That was the late punch at the end of the first round from Adam Chuck, but you can see the experience of Adam Chuck. He defended well against Abraham's combinations, but when he had the opportunity,
opportunity to attack. You saw Adam Chuck, you know, mix that high kick, attack the body well with his punches. And that comes with his, his, his experience. You know, good moments from Vidal is mixing in his strikes. But third round, this is when Adam Chuck wanted to finish, came aggressive, kept blasting the hands. Vidal is looking to clinch. But that Whoa. left overhand clicked Three, the Dallas. Four. The Dallas couldn't answer the count according to the referee. Here are the strike statistics from this featherweight battle. 143 pounds, 65 kilos. Surya Adamchuk, 54 of 98, but Dallas actually landed more, 63 of 181. And most of his work came to the body. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Oscar Martinez has called a halt to this contest. At one minute, 27 seconds of that third and final round, declaring your winner by technical knockout, Sehe Adamchuk! I'm here with your winner, Sir. Hey, Adam Chuck, your first finish in your glory career. How are you feeling? Feel great. Thank you very much. Who come watch this combat sport? So this was my first take on glory. Early morning, I wake and think, listen, man, you hear totally 11 fights and just decision. Sometimes you strange lose decision. Sometimes you won for decision. When you make something happy for self, like you do before. And today was like this, so something like this. You took a risky fight against someone who isn't as experienced as you. Did everything go as planned? Uh, listen, this my was change. Chance, sorry. Uh, back to big game, so I hope next year, if possible, fight to title fight or super pie, doesn't matter. I wait next fight, this will be Patch and Kevin. So, I need our Tang Po, Patch or Kevin. Will be great. So, thank you very much. See you soon. All right, Chicago, let's hear for your winner, Sergey Adamchuk. His English is getting pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. He's been working hard at it. Nice job by him in the ring and in the post-fight interview. Sergey Adamchuk, the number two ranked flyweight in the world today. Featherweight, rather, excuse me. Hello, sir. Hope you're enjoying that adult beverage. It's a party here in Chicago tonight, Joe. Four of our five fights ended in knockout. Some spectacularly so. Same thing happened last night. All but one of our 10 Super Fight Series fights ended in KO. That's what people tune in to see. They got their money's worth tonight, including that finish by Adam Chuck and our headliner.